unprecedented in audacity and scope. From a software engineering perspective, it's probably fair to say that this is the largest and most sophisticated attack the world has ever seen. Ever wondered how one of the most sophisticated cyber attacks in history went undetected for months? In the heart of the year 2019, an unseen and unprecedented intrusion quietly took root within the digital walls of a think tank's network. This wasn't a mere break-in, it was a calculated, stealthy infiltration. Stephen Adair, a seasoned cybersecurity expert, and his team at Velexity were the first to stumble upon this crafty digital invader. However, the sophistication of this attack went beyond their wildest imagination. The intruder wasn't just hiding in the shadows, it was wearing a convincing disguise, imitating legitimate software updates from a trusted company called SolarWinds. It was the perfect Trojan horse, seemingly benign yet perilously malicious. The detection of this attack was no easy task. The malicious code was so intricately woven into the network's fabric that it appeared as nothing more than a routine software update. This brilliant disguise allowed the intrusion to go unnoticed for months, silently gathering intelligence and gaining more control over the network. When the scale of this cyber attack finally came into the light, it sent shockwaves through the cybersecurity community. This wasn't just a breach, it was an invasion. An invasion that had burrowed deep into the heart of countless organizations including the US government. The shock, however, soon turned into a sense of awe. Awe at the sheer audacity and sophistication of the attack. Awe at the patience and precision of the attackers. Awe at how such a massive operation could remain hidden in plain sight for so long. But the awe was short-lived, replaced by a sobering realization. This was no one-off event. This was a new kind of warfare, a silent and invisible battleground where the stakes were higher than ever. The cybersecurity world was left reeling, but this was just the beginning. Imagine discovering your most secure networks have been breached. That's exactly what happened in the case of the SolarWinds hack. It was like waking up to find that the doors you had triple locked had been silently pried open, and the intruders had already helped themselves to everything of value. In the labyrinth of US government networks, the hackers left no stone unturned. From the Department of Commerce to Homeland Security, they infiltrated a vast array of systems. Even the Treasury, the guardian of the nation's financial secrets, was not spared. The extent of this breach was truly unprecedented, reaching even to the highest echelons of power. The implications of the data accessed are still being unraveled. Imagine having your most confidential communications intercepted, your strategies laid bare, and your vulnerabilities exposed. Now, Multiply that by the number of departments affected and you start to grasp the magnitude of this breach. The information accessed could have far-reaching impacts from economic to diplomatic and even national security. The breach could reveal sensitive economic strategies, disrupt diplomatic relations, and expose critical data about national security operations. It's like handing over the keys to the kingdom, but in this case, the kingdom is a global superpower. But it wasn't just the government that was hit. A multitude of corporations, including some of the biggest names in tech, were also victims of this audacious cyber heist. The fallout from this can be seen in the stock markets, in boardrooms, and in the growing demand for robust cybersecurity solutions. The SolarWinds hack wasn't just a wake-up call, it was a siren in the night. It revealed a chink in our armor, a vulnerability that had been expertly exploited. The fortress had not just been breached, it had been ransacked, its secrets laid bare. But the question remained, who was behind this audacious attack? Who had the skills to infiltrate the most secure networks, the audacity to target the US government, and the patience to carry out such a meticulous operation? The fortress had fallen, but who was behind it? As we delve deeper into the shadows, we begin to see the outlines of the culprits. But that's a story for the next scene. Who would dare to penetrate the defenses of a superpower? That is the question that kept cybersecurity experts awake at night after the SolarWinds hack. The audacity of the intrusion, the calculated precision, the sheer scale of it all, suggested a group with not only technical prowess but also a clear strategy. Diving into the murky world of cyber espionage, let's unravel the possible motives behind this audacious breach. At the heart of it all was the desire to gain access to the most confidential of information. But it wasn't just about the thrill of the chase. It was about the power to disrupt, to manipulate, to control. It was the cyber equivalent of a game of chess, 
with every move meticulously planned and executed. The tradecraft employed was nothing short of ingenious. The attackers used a method known as supply chain hacking, compromising a widely used piece of software to gain access to the networks of its users. This was not a brute force attack, but a stealthy, insidious infiltration that went unnoticed for months. And then came the question that sent chills down the spines of cybersecurity professionals worldwide. Was this the only operation? The extent of the SolarWinds breach, the sophistication of the methods used, led many to speculate that the same group could be behind other major supply chain hacks. This wasn't just a one-off incident, but potentially part of a larger, more sinister strategy. As the investigation continued, the veil of anonymity began to lift. Signs pointed towards a state-sponsored group, a revelation that added a whole new dimension to the unfolding drama. This was no longer just about cybersecurity, but about geopolitics, about power dynamics on the global stage. The mystery deepened, but the world demanded answers. The pursuit for the truth led experts down a rabbit hole of intrigue and deception, a journey that continues to this day. Who were the shadowy figures behind the Solar Winds hack? What were their motives? And most importantly, what could be their next move? These questions still echo in the halls of cybersecurity firms and government agencies alike, a constant reminder of the ongoing battle in the digital shadows. In the face of a crisis, is silence an option? As the magnitude of the solar winds hack began to unfurl, a chorus of voices rose from the ashes, demanding transparency. Government officials, cybersecurity experts, and the public alike were left reeling in the wake of the attack. The breach had not only infiltrated a secure network, but had also shattered our collective sense of security. Suddenly, everyone was asking the same questions. How did this happen? Could it have been prevented? And perhaps most importantly, would we be ready when the next attack came? As the shock subsided, the criticisms began to emerge. Cybersecurity experts pointed out the vulnerabilities that had been overlooked, the warning signs that had been dismissed. They stressed the need for an open dialogue about the state of our defenses, a frank conversation about our weaknesses and how to strengthen them. They called for accountability, not just from those who had failed to detect the intrusion, but also from those who had the power to prevent it. Government officials were not immune to this wave of scrutiny. Accusations of complacency, of a lack of foresight, were thrown into the public arena. The demand for transparency escalated, becoming a rallying cry for a society grappling with the reality of its vulnerability. And then there was the public's reaction, a sense of betrayal, a demand for answers. Social media was awash with criticisms, calls for action, and pleas for reassurance. The people wanted to know that their data, their privacy, their security were not being taken for granted. They demanded accountability from those in power, a promise that this would not happen again. The Solar Winds hack was more than a cybersecurity breach. It was a wake-up call, a stark reminder of the intricate web of digital connections that bind our world together and the risks that come with it. In the face of such a crisis, silence was not an option. The world was watching, and it was time to respond. When the dust settles, how do you pick up the pieces? In the wake of the solar winds hack, the cybersecurity world faced a new reality. The impact was profound and the need for action was urgent. The attack had exposed vulnerabilities in our defenses and the aftermath was a time of reckoning. The question was not just about how to recover, but how to prevent such a breach from recurring. The immediate response was a scramble to contain the damage and secure breach networks, yet this was not enough. The extent of the breach had demonstrated that our existing cybersecurity frameworks needed a drastic overhaul. This realization led to the establishment of a new entity, the Cyber Safety Review Board. This board, composed of industry leaders, cybersecurity experts, and government officials, was tasked with a mission as daunting as it was necessary. Their job was to dissect the SolarWinds attack, understand its intricacies, and draw lessons that could be used to fortify our cyber defenses. But the review board's role went beyond just dissecting past attacks. It was also responsible for identifying potential threats and vulnerabilities. In a world where cyber attacks are becoming increasingly sophisticated, the board's proactive approach was a much needed shift in strategy. Moreover, the Cyber Safety Review Board was a testament to the importance of collaboration. The SolarWinds hack had shown that cybersecurity was not just a concern for individual organizations, it was a shared responsibility. By bringing together experts from different fields and sectors, the board embodied this understanding. The aftermath of the SolarWinds attack was a time of reflection and action. 
it was a harsh reminder of the evolving nature of cyber threats and the need for continuous adaptation. But it also marked a turning point in our approach to cybersecurity. It was a call to arms, a call to rethink our strategies, and a call to unite in the face of a common enemy. And as the dust settled, it became clear that the battlefield had changed. The threats were more sophisticated, the stakes were higher, and the tools of war were evolving. The battlefield had changed, and so must the warriors. Is the ghost of solar wind still haunting us? Five years ago, a team of cybersecurity experts stumbled upon a sophisticated intrusion into a think tank's network. The discovery unraveled a sinister web of cyber espionage that sent shockwaves through the world. This was the SolarWinds hack, a cyber attack of unprecedented scale and sophistication. In the aftermath of this historic breach, governments and corporations were left reeling, scrambling to assess the extent of the damage and shore up their defenses. The U.S. government in particular bore the brunt of the attack, with several of its networks compromised. Now, years later, one question lingers. Are we still under threat? The government's response to the Solar Winds campaign was swift and decisive. New policies were enacted, strategies revised, and a Cyber Safety Review Board was established to address cybersecurity risks. But the threat of supply chain hacks, like the one that enabled Solar Winds, remains. The hackers' tradecraft was sophisticated, their motives unclear. Could they still be out there? Could they be involved in other supply chain hacks? These are the lingering threats that keep cybersecurity experts up at night. The concerns are not unfounded. The SolarWinds hack exposed vulnerabilities in our defenses, vulnerabilities that may still exist. It's a sobering reminder that in the realm of cybersecurity, the enemy is ever-evolving, always adapting, but we're not standing still. The lessons learned from SolarWinds are shaping our approach to cybersecurity. We're becoming more vigilant, more proactive. We're developing new tools and techniques to detect and thwart such attacks, and most importantly, we're fostering a culture of transparency and cooperation in the face of these threats. So, is the ghost of solar wind still haunting us? Perhaps. But it's also driving us to be better, to be stronger, because in the end, the best defense is a good offense. The war may be over, but the fight continues. In the wake of devastation, what lessons can we draw? That's the question that continues to resonate in the minds of cybersecurity experts, government officials, and industry leaders alike. The Solar Winds hack, a stark reminder of our digital vulnerabilities, has indeed reshaped the cybersecurity landscape, leaving behind a trail of lessons learned and yet more questions unanswered. The first lesson is the understanding that complacency is the enemy of security. The belief that a system is impenetrable is the first step towards its downfall. As the Solar Winds hack has shown us, even the most fortified networks are susceptible to infiltration. This calls for a paradigm shift in our approach to cybersecurity, a move from defensive strategies to proactive threat hunting. Secondly, transparency and collaboration are integral to our collective security. The SolarWinds attack was a wake-up call, revealing how siloed efforts can impede early detection and timely response to threats. This underscores the need for open communication and cooperation among industry peers, government agencies, and cybersecurity firms. Moreover, the solar winds incident sheds light on the evolving nature of cyber threats. It's no longer about isolated attacks, but a complex interconnected web of supply chain vulnerabilities. This necessitates a broader perspective on threat intelligence, one that extends beyond the confines of individual systems and networks. But perhaps the most crucial lesson lies in acknowledging that cybersecurity is not a destination, but a journey. As technology advances, so do the tactics of adversaries. The SolarWinds hack is a testament to this, highlighting the need for continuous learning, innovation, and adaptation in the face of new threats. In the end, the lessons drawn from the SolarWinds hack serve as a beacon, guiding us towards a more resilient cybersecurity future. They remind us of the importance of staying vigilant, of never underestimating the cunning of adversaries, and of always striving for progress, even in the face of setbacks. As we gaze into the future, we carry the lessons of the past with us. We do so with the knowledge that the path to cybersecurity is fraught with challenges, but it's a path we must tread nonetheless, armed with the wisdom of our experiences and the courage to face what lies ahead. So where do we go from here? As we steer into the future of cybersecurity, the SolarWinds hack serves as a stark reminder of the escalating threat landscape. 
the intricacies of this historic breach have unveiled the alarming potential of supply chain attacks, compelling us to rethink our defenses. The SolarWinds incident has spurred a shift in perspective. No longer can we view cybersecurity as a mere IT concern, but rather it is a critical factor for national security, corporate survival, and personal privacy. This paradigm shift is necessitating proactive rather than reactive security measures. The call now is for an anticipatory approach where potential threats are identified and mitigated before they can materialize. To achieve this, it's essential to employ advanced AI and machine learning technologies that can sift through vast amounts of data, detect anomalies, and predict possible attack vectors. Moreover, the future of cybersecurity will be characterized by a collective effort. The SolarWinds hack has underscored the need for transparency and collaboration between governments, corporations, and cybersecurity firms, sharing threat intelligence, cooperating on countermeasures, and promoting a culture of cybersecurity awareness are all steps in the right direction. We also anticipate the establishment of more regulatory bodies like the Cyber Safety Review Board, which will play a key role in setting standards, enforcing compliance, and conducting audits to ensure that organizations are fortified against future breaches. Yet, as we bolster our defenses, we must remain cognizant of the evolving nature of cyber threats. The hackers behind the SolarWinds attack demonstrated a level of sophistication and patience that took the cybersecurity community by surprise. As we move forward, we must be prepared to face adversaries who are constantly honing their skills, adapting their methods, and seeking out new vulnerabilities to exploit. In the digital age, the only constant is change. The future of cybersecurity is a dynamic battlefield, necessitating relentless vigilance, continuous learning, and swift adaptation. As we navigate this complex terrain, let the lessons learned from the SolarWinds hack guide us, reminding us of the high stakes and the crucial importance of staying one step ahead. In the digital age, the only constant is change. So, are you ready to join the fight? As we delve into the world of cybersecurity, it's clear that the stakes have never been higher. We're not just dealing with rogue hackers in basements anymore. We're up against sophisticated, well-funded, and highly skilled adversaries. They're relentless in their pursuit of our personal data, corporate secrets, and national security information. And as the SolarWinds hack has shown us, they're capable of penetrating even the most fortified defenses. But there's a silver lining to this ominous cloud. Each one of us has the power to make a difference. It starts with staying informed. Knowledge is power. And in the realm of cybersecurity, it's our first line of defense. We need to understand the threats we face, the tactics our adversaries use, and the best practices to keep our data secure. The more we know, the harder we make it for hackers to succeed. Vigilance is another crucial component. We must always be on the lookout for signs of suspicious activity. Strange emails, unusual network traffic, unexpected system behavior. These could all be indicators of a breach. Don't ignore them, report them. Your vigilance could be the difference between a minor incident and a major catastrophe. But perhaps the most important thing we can do is to contribute to our collective security. This could be as simple as sharing what we know with others, reporting vulnerabilities when we find them, or contributing to open source security projects. Every little bit helps. And remember, cybersecurity isn't just a job for the professionals, it's a responsibility we all share. The SolarWinds hack was a wake-up call for all of us. It showed us just how vulnerable we are and how much work we have to do to secure our digital world. But it also showed us that we're not powerless. We have the tools, the knowledge, and the determination to fight back. The future of cybersecurity is in our hands. Let's make it a secure one.